the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the New York Jets and the Arizona Cardinals. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of the Cardinals, State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. Matt Prater has been around a long time. We'll get us started here. And off we go from Glendale. Davis now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, of course, all the buildup in 2023. It lasted all of four snaps, but the man is a legend. A Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football, and while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind. And they're not going to run him down. He goes all the way. 74 yards. Touchdown, Jets. Terrific way, Greg, to get this game started. Able to get the opening touchdown and do it with a long run. Mike, anytime you can create explosive plays in the run game, you're definitely going to take it. And they're going to be able to build on those plays as the rest of this game moves along. Greg Zerline now for the point after. It's up and good. And the Jets will take a 7-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. To return is Greg Dort. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Look at him go! And he's going to take this all the way back. 94 yards. Touchdown, Arizona. You talk about a response after the offense goes down the field and gets a touchdown. The special teams unit comes back to get the six right back for the other side. And I've been there, Mike. You find yourself on offense. You watch your opponent go down and get a touchdown. And you're saying amongst each other, you're saying, hey, we're going to get the ball back. Let's go get one of our own. But in this case, the return unit says, no, no. Offense, you stay on the sideline. We got this. And they go back and get a score of their own. Prater, extra point is good. And the Cardinals will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. Time seven apiece and the kicks away. Set to return is Xavier Gibson and he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. 
Brees Hall making his way back out there as the Jets are on offense again. And he has been sensational in this opening quarter. You have to imagine we're going to see much more of him as this game goes on. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Rodgers. That's caught by the tight end, Tyler Conklin. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. A shotgun snap and a give to Hall. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Mike Williams, the one he was looking for. And it'll bring up second down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. He's got the longtime charger, Mike Williams. And he will score. Mike Williams. Touchdown, New York. A terrific job all the way around, especially after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch. Now Zerline for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Jets will move out to a 14-7 lead. ready to go once more as the kicks away. Dortch now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Cardinals come out. They're led by their quarterback, Kyler Murray. First overall pick in 2019. Wows you with those highlight plays over the years. Off the injury, Greg, the Cardinals quarterback, is once again the exciting Kyler Murray. Here's what you call a bit of a unicorn of an athlete at the quarterback position. And when healthy, Mike, make no mistake about it. This guy is a flat-out playmaker. He possesses this rare ability with his legs to extend plays as he improvises that it's just hard to coach. But don't let that small stature fool you either. His arm talent, it's up there with some of the best in the league. The knock on him is how careless he can be with the ball at times. He needs to learn the difference between taking calculated risks and reckless ones because if he does that here he has as good a shot to be successful as anybody in this league they got there in a hurry didn't they Mike I mean luckily for him he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack now Murray to throw on second down that's to the fourth overall pick it's Marvin Harrison Jr. They get 20 on the connection. It's an Arizona first down. Yeah, really nice play there by Marvin Harrison Jr. And this is really the target they've been looking for to pair up with Kyler Murray here in Arizona for a long time. And for this draft to fall their way and then get really one of the best receivers to come out in the last couple years, Mike. I mean, with all the Ohio State wide receivers that have come out here lately, you can make an argument. Harrison 
He's probably the best of the bunch. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. He gets that to his big target, Trey McBride. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. He finds his man. It's Torch. 14 yards on that pass play there. It's good for a Cardinals first down. This receiver went a long way to catch this ball. He started all the way out on the left side of the formation. And look where he catches it, Mike. He's all the way on the right side of the field. He just continued to work through those open zones, eventually found one. The quarterback was able to put it on him for a nice game. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. They go play action with Murray. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground work back to the quarterback friendly to the ball and really nice job picking up the first down he'll get it into the hands of Zay Jones an enviable spot to operate from here's second and inches Give running right. It's Connor. And he's going to be close to a first down. Looks like he'll have just enough to keep the chains moving. They'll go again here to Connor. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Working from the shotgun. It's pressure gets there. And down he goes. Javon Kinlaw, the former Niner, in there to bring him down. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. Raiders kick is good. 
And the Cardinals are back within four at 14 to 10. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Gibson now on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. So now the Jets' offense ready to take over once more. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. From the gun, Rodgers. That's right side and brought in by Williams. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. We talk so much about starting fast and then trying to sustain that throughout the course of the game. That's exactly what they're doing here. They've got the early lead, but they're not content to just sit on the ball. They're looking to extend it. Nice start here to this drive. Once they cross midfield, then it goes into go mode. You're trying to come away with points every single time you have the ball. It's a good way to start this game here in the first quarter. Here's second and six. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. He'll get that into the hands of Williams. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Nice catch there by Williams, and he's able to move the chains. And while he finds himself now in a new uniform here in New York, it's just nice to see him able to return from injury just a year ago. He was signed by the Jets this offseason after coming off a really good run with the Chargers. He's already making his presence felt. He picks up a fresh set of downs. Rodgers on first down. Working free downfield, it is Williams. Four catches already in this opening quarter. Off to a hot start as he picks up the first down. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator, I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Look him up on a second down and eight. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver exactly how it played out here you can drop all the fancy plays you want but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes it's virtually impossible to stop from six yards out it's first and goal Rodgers to throw that one Take it in, Garrett Wilson. Touchdown, Jets. Ah, oh, the teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch,
but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. Zerline's kick, up and good. And the Jets are out to a 21-10 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Dortch now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Picard's offense ready to take over once more. They'll look to make some inroads here. They're down 21-10 to in this one as they come up on a first down. Start this drive on the ground, and it's Connor. And tough running there. He's up to the 32. Isaiah Oliver brings him down. Second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Murray. Pass complete there to Harrison. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Well, there's not a lot to this route. Man coverage, and you got a drag route. Give them a little something off the line, and go. Win with speed, good accurate ball on the front shoulder pad, allows him to pick up the rest after the catch, and leads to a big game. Play action. It's Murray. That's to the sideline and pulled in by Harrison. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. Throwing again is Murray. Right back to Harrison. He's got him again. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early. And that last pickup leads to a first down. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight-yard line. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. He's got it at the three. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, 
that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. Connor going to try to pull his way in. And he will take this one across into the end zone. James Connor. Touchdown, Arizona. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Now Prater to tack on the extra point. The kick is good. And the Cardinals are back within four. It's 21-17. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Davis now to return it and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line so now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more they'll do so with first and ten to throw it's Rodgers and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on that's incomplete he just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield I mean it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage we see quarterbacks do that all the time but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot and that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. Third and short yardage, it's Rodgers. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Now, fair catch is made, and it's just inside the 15-yard line. The Cardinals offense and their veteran running back, James Conner, set to take over again. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On first down, the drive begins with Connor. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. From the gun, it's Murray. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down.
third and a yard. He'll try and run for this with Connor. It'll be a pickup of 10. It's an Arizona first down. We've seen third down really turn into a pass-happy down throughout the league, and I think this is an example of the play caller kind of using that to his advantage. Keep the defense off guard, keeps the ball on the ground, extend this possession. Murray now to throw on first down. That's to the left side, taken in by Harrison. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And the defense all over this one. They knock them down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Second down, Murray. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. On third down, Murray. And that is incomplete. I'll tell you what, Mike, considering how this offense has played in the first couple possessions, I'm surprised that one wasn't completed. It seems like that's the first miss of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Continue to build on this momentum because so far they've come out hot in this one. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Jets offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. To throw is Rogers. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. That's to the right side. He's got Corley. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. play action Rodgers now he'll run and he slides and covers up at the end avoids the hit and picked up decent yardage along the way here's second and two looking to throw it's Rodgers he's got a receiver Alan Lazar and they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. He got all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, 
And now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Rodgers now. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. What can they do here? This is third and forever. On the handoff, it's Paul running right. Wow, oh, a pretty good comeback to say the least. Not enough for a first down, but a really solid pickup. And it brings us to fourth down. Well, I have to be honest, Mike. I'm kind of standing here in awe that that type of run somehow didn't lead to a first down. I mean, 99 out of 100 times, they're moving the chains and then some. This is that one time where that effort wasn't necessarily rewarded. And this is going to work out for them. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. Here's Marvin Harrison Jr. and the Cardinal offense heading back out onto the field. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play that is borne out by those eye-popping numbers. Set to go now on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Murray. He'll look middle and finds McBride his tight end. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Perfectly timed blitz, and he just gets to the quarterback a fraction of a second too late. The ball comes out of his hand kind of funny as a result of the hit, and I'm not even exactly sure if the guy who caught it was his intended target. So we've reached halftime, and the visiting Jets are in front as we send you to Orlando to check in with the coach, Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports halftime report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Dorch now to return it. Now an opening past the 30. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Cardinals offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and 10. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time, and it'll set up second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. And this will be a Cardinals first down. Good running. Gets him to about the 44. It's not just the blockers creating yards for him out there. He created most of that yardage on his own, shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield. They'll come up here first and 10. They'll go right back to Connor. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. 
This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. And a good one here on the ground across midfield. Let's give him nine for the carry. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Murray on third down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and... None of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode. And it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment. And he had no choice but to throw it away. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting ready to go once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. The drive begins with a run, and it's Hall. And he'll work his way forward to about the 21. Here's second and nine. Rodgers, this complete to Corley. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. Man, what a big-time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. One on target to Williams. He's got it. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw. And now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll send a tight end in motion. Here's Hall. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Another run here with Paul. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. Hey, Rod, out of the gun here on third down. That's to the running back, Brees Hall. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. 
Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. They'll run. It's Hall. Only a yard there. Tackle made at the five. Here comes second and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Rodgers. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. Great job in coverage here. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. He decides to tuck it and turn it to a runner. They get to him quickly. Picks up a couple yards, but not enough now. Brings up third down. Third and goal. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. To the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. So, fourth down, and the veteran Greg Zerline on for the Jets. Zerline's kick is good. And the Jets will extend their third quarter lead. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes DJ Dallas on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Cardinals' offense make their way out to take over once more. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Again. This is Connor. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. Quincy Williams in there for the stop. Here's a second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Murray. And they'll work this. Close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Working out of the gun, Murray. He's got his receiver, it's Jones. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. On the handoff, heading left, it's Connor. Just pushing defenders out of the way. 
as he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Murray looking to throw. A throw left side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended target. And third down coming up. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. The Cardinals line up for a punt. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The Jets' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. First and 10. Going to start this drive on the ground. It's Hall. And this one's not going to help the cause. He is going backwards. Tackled back at the eighth. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike. And they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down. But that's exactly the case here. They'll go again with Hall. Trying some oohs and ahs from the crowd. Sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. So, three quarters now in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. From the gun, Rodgers. He's got his man complete to Wilson. And he's going to be taken down inside the 40-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And of course, that's a given but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. Working free downfield, it is Williams. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Trying the left side, here's Hall. And he'll be close to a first down, a gain of a couple as they mark him just short. Looking to keep a promising drive alive. It is third and a yard. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. 
He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes. And once you do, you can try to go for the big one. Here's Rodgers. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for a Malachi Corley. And it'll... They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. Rodgers. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Reese Hall. Touchdown, New York. He had the touchdown run earlier. Now add a TD reception. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Jets will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Dortch now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Out comes the Arizona offense. They get ready for their next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. From the gun, it's Murray. Over the middle, it's Harrison. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Now, Murray. Is intercepted. Picked off by Michael Carter. You know, Mike, anytime a team can go nickel or dime and come off the field with an interception, I just am constantly reminded of the importance of defensive back depth when you're building an NFL roster. I mean, think back. This is not the old NFL base 3-4, base 4-3. Offenses are going to roll out 2, 3, four high-level wide receivers at you in this pass-first modern era. If you can't roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass-first modern offenses. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten they will run it over center with Hall and a nice run there on first down getting eight setting up second and two Off the play fake, Rodgers. 
And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and what most of the time is a very pass-happy situation makes them very one-dimensional. This defense in desperate need of a stop, and here comes third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. This is the point in the game, Mike, where on third down, you have to get off the field, and they do a great job. They defend everything in the pass routes, nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball, but they don't keep him in the pocket. They let him escape, picks up the first down with his legs. They're going to be able to run more time off the clock. First down for Aaron. A pass caught right side by Conklin. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Play action now with Rodgers. That's complete to Jeremy Rucker. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game, and you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. A give. Here's Hall. And a strong first down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. He'll try to run it with Hall. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. He'll try to run this one in. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. He'll take him down at the three-yard line. Hats off to the interior of this defensive line. Look at the penetration they're able to get up front, Mike, to defeat their blocks. And third and an inch, they knew that run was coming. And boy, were they ready. They can still pick up a first down here. And they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. To throw is Rodgers. And he'll take it on in. Mike Williams. Touchdown, New York. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Extra point try now for Zerlon. He's got it. And the Jets are able to extend the lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Dallas. Ho oh ho! And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. 
The home team's offense back onto the field for their next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Out of the gun, it's Murray. That's caught, it's the tight end, Tip Ryman. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. That ball caught. It's Zay Jones. That's a gain of 11, and they'll move the chains with another first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains, by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll come up now for second down and four. Throwing Murray. In trouble, and down he goes. The big fella, Quinnen Williams, forcing his way in for the sack. If there's one positive remaining, it's the fact that they're still in scoring position. But with the way they've been able to move the ball down here in the red zone, they're thinking six. But after that last sack, their chances of converting here for a touchdown have gotten a lot more difficult. That is incomplete. And here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump, and they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point, but once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. comes Hall. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. On the give, it's Hall. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. So this one, a win for the visiting Jets. In a game that was expected to be a cakewalk, pretty much turned out that way. Their class just much the best in this one as they cruise to an easy road victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. 
You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.